So let me tell you something about the full moon that I think was pretty funny, though it didn't feel particularly funny at the time. And as it happened, it became one of the many data points I use and I remember in order to understand astrology and how it actually works. On Sunday, right around the peak of the full moon, I noticed someone had left a comment on this channel in regard to an Iris video that I had posted back in December. The comment appeared to be an insult hurled in my direction in regard to my skills and my motives. So first I answered by requesting clarification in case I wasn't getting the correct message, but right away the person sent me a second message that was unmistakably insulting and even with some salty language thrown in. Though I remember I was in a perfectly calm state, suddenly I felt a bit of a surge of outrage and I decided to reply in, well, let's just call it in no uncertain terms. And I also threw the annoying troll off the channel. I was conscious that it was the full moon, but it would be a couple of hours before it hit me that my natal iris position just happens to be in exactly the same degrees as the full moon, which means it was getting serious stimulation and goes to show you that Though Iris is definitely a female energy at the core, she ain't Mars' sister for nothing, and like Mars, she's always ready for a fight, and at times may take no prisoners. Now, just to be clear, was this the best response? No, I would say a simple and well-merited expulsion would have been good enough, so I'll have to do better next time. But meanwhile, it's yet another astrological lesson via the never-ending delightful planetary synchronicities showing me that if women can definitely express themselves through Mars, men will go through Eris just as much. And now that I think about it, having my natal Eris in those degrees, directly wiring into Trump's Access Hollywood T-square and pounding directly on his Mercury is one of the pretty good astrological reasons why I'm so hard on the orange menace. What can I say? It's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it.